Can I ask you one other thing real, real briefly? I don't think I've heard anybody ask you on your radio show recently about the whole conflict with Alistair Begg and the recommendation he made. Are you familiar with that? You know, somebody just asked me that yesterday. Oh, okay. I, I didn't hear yesterday's show, actually. And You know, I, I had heard some kind of vague rumblings about it um, a few days earlier, but I, 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 no one asked me about it, and I didn't know what it was about. I heard that there's some... Oh some issue with Alistair Begg. And then so, someone called me yesterday and asked what I thought about it. And I said, well, I haven't really heard what it is. And he told me, and I thought, uh. Apparently what happened is Alistair Begg uh, was asked by a, a woman whether she should attend uh, the wedding of probably, a, I assume, a relative of hers, a granddaughter or something, who's a transsexual, right? And Alistair Begg told her to, to uh yeah attend it and bring a gift now apparently a lot of people including john MacArthur, and i'm not surprised that he would be among those who would have you know condemned alistair Begg for making that recommendation and um and so that's become i guess he's become a lightning rod for a lot of criticism about that uh what i said on the air i'll tell you i'll say more briefly right now and that is that of course i would not personally recommend that anyone go to a wedding uh, that you cannot approve of. So uh, same-sex couple, transsexuals, even, frankly, even a Christian who's rebelliously marrying a non-Christian. Um, uh, you know, when you go to a wedding, you're not just going to a spectator event where you reserve judgment about it and you're just there in a non-judgmental way. You're there to witness, of you know, sacred vows being made and to become one who is then... Uh, accepting the responsibility of holding them to those vows if they ever should be inclined to break them. Now, if you can't approve of the vow in the first place, you certainly can't celebrate it and you certainly can't ask them to keep them because those vows themselves are sinful. Uh, so it's really hard. It's a hard, hard thing. So I, at least that's what I understand attending a wedding to mean. Now, I realize that not everyone sees it that way. For some people, it's just a spectator thing. You know, I'm just going, you know, something's happening. Everybody's going to see it. I'm going to go watch it too. I mean, that's, to me, I, I take marriage more seriously than that. I, you know, I consider it very sacred. I consider it to be very covenantal. And I think that the witnesses are, should be those of the family, uh, both the natural family if possible and the family of faith who are hearing the vows to be witnesses and as witnesses going to hold them to it. And of course, that being the way I see things, I would never recommend that someone go to a wedding that we can't approve of. Now, on the other hand, there's another way of seeing it. It's uh, not persuasive to me, but I'm, in some circumstances, maybe I could be persuaded. I'm not at this point. But, you know, Christians are viewed as haters and you know, homophobes and transphobes and stuff like that. And, and Alistair Begg may have felt that it would glorify God more for a Christian grandmother to to seem gracious and welcoming and forgiving, even if she, especially, honestly, if she had already registered her disagreement with it, uh, then Alistair Begg might have assumed that, okay, she's already said she doesn't agree, so her coming there is not going to communicate something that it isn't. You know, she just, you know, she's not going to treat them like lepers. It's a loving, accepting kind of thing to do. I, I certainly have heard the arguments on both sides, and I'm not saying that both sides don't have a case to be made. I'm just saying I would have given different advice than Alistair Begg made, but I don't judge him for for what he said, because the Bible doesn't really tell us whether to go to a wedding or not, you know? Uh, going to weddings is something the Bible just doesn't discuss. So the real issue is what do you what do you mean by going to a wedding? What do you understand that to be communicating? If it seems to be a communicating approval of and celebration of what's going on, then of course you can't go to a wedding like that. Uh, if if it's just something where nobody thinks of it that way at all, it's just you know an event. Who knows? Maybe you wouldn't be and and you've already clarified to them that you don't approve. I'm not going to be I'm not going to be harsh on somebody who makes a different decision than me. The fact that uh, the fact that anyone would uh, criticize beg for that it just strikes me as more petty than it should be you know i exactly what you said steve i heard him talk about it and i heard him preach about it too the yeah. grandmother 
grandchild knew how she felt. Yeah. And his his advice to her was basically so there wasn't more division and more reason for them to feel the way a lot of people do about Christians thinking that they're haters and stuff. So I assumed I it was well intentioned. I I never heard Alistair ever give his side, but I, I just assumed as much. I assumed that was his reasoning. But and uh, you know, it's again, it's not the advice I would have given. I don't think. Uh, at least, as I said here today, you know, thinking about somebody else's situation, I, I think now I don't think I'd agree with that. But it'd be very, I would feel very uh, wrong to judge another man about what he felt was wise or good at the situation. I might say, hey, well, we don't agree about that. But I don't think I don't think the pastor beg is um, is doing something immoral himself. Or even that the grandmother is necessarily doing something immoral. The real question I would have is, what message are you sending? That'd be the main issue for me. Yeah, it's 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 hard to see people get so hard on him. And I mean, people know, should know, you know, where his heart is. He's he's been well, preaching for years. He's a good teacher. That's it. That's it. The, Alistair Egg has a great track record, you know, of being a great pastor, a great evangelical. I disagree with his Calvinism and some other things, but but he's a great man. I so I mean, I don't know him personally, but. His ministry has been fruitful, and he's uh, you know he's kept his nose clean. I don't think he's involved in any scandals himself. And you know, if a, if someone says, "Well, I don't agree with the counsel he gave," just like I said, you know, <clears throat> okay, point registered. You know, you don't agree. That's okay. Now let's go on. Let's move on. You know, it, unless you can find a verse in the Bible that commands a man never to advise someone to go to a wedding between two sinners, then you can't judge Alistair for having a different opinion about that. Yeah. Well, because he wouldn't recant, they took <laughs> him off of American Family Radio. And I mean, there's been some fallout from it. So it's just kind oh, of... I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Okay, Mike. Good talk to you, man. You too.